Morning folks, welcome back to another video. I thought in this video today we'd kind of go over some more trauma kits, more specifically the, the carriers um, that I've been carrying my uh, trauma kits in. Now, you've seen in a previous video a while back, I did a video of the VanQuest 4x6 Fat Pack. And I've turned this into a, a little trauma kit, a personal trauma kit for myself. This is a kit that I use out in the woods when it's just myself or maybe a couple of people going out in the woods for you know a day trip overnight or whatever. I'll take this kit because I have a lot of stuff in here, a lot of capabilities just with this little kit. And I really like it a lot. So Van, this is the Gen 1 by the way. VanQuest has come out now with the Gen 2 fat packs. And what I have here is the Gen 2 four, uh, 5x8 and 7x10 fat packs. We'll kind of go over some of the differences they've made, some of the changes that they made and, and that I really like. And so far I've, I've kind of got this one already set up as a, um, as a first aid kit or a trauma kit. These would make great car kits or great group kits. So this one right here is going to be a, a car kit. I'm going to put this in the car. And this one we'll load out in another video, and uh, I'll show you that one in another video. But anyway, kind of um, some of the, the new changes that they've made in the Gen 2s. First of all, you have a very nice heavy-duty grab handle up top here. This is a very nice loop. It's formed, it makes it easier to open, whereas before you had kind of this little tall, skinny little loop, and it's not, it's nowhere near as thick as this grab handle here. You also have this nice uh, tab here that, you know, kind of signifies as, as a medical kit, which you can take off. It's kind of a, like a Velcro. You can remove that. Also on the front here, uh, just some of the other changes that they've done, let's see, you have elastic on the sides, which is really nice. You have uh, two loops of elastic on each side. And as you can see right here on this side, I have my cat tourniquet on here. It's a brand new one. I haven't even taken it out of the package yet, but just uh, it's elastic. Whereas before, in the older Gen 1s, it was just webbing. And so what I had to do when I attached my tourniquet on this one is I had some old belt keepers from an old duty belt, and I had to zip tie those onto this... Uh, the webbing here which works you know but these having the elastic on here is really nice the tourniquet fits right in there and like you see on this side I just have a pair of uh, shears on there as well on the front you have hook and loop velcro if you want to put a patch here or whatever you also have a nice field nice big area of hook and loop here uh, some of the also new on here is they have the mole air modular attachment uh, thing here so if you want to attach another small little molly pouch or something like that you could attach it to the front you know maybe like a um, a small pouch for gloves or something like that which is kind of what I thought I might do eventually because on the front here you have this little little velcro here and little pocket and it goes down right here and I was gonna put my gloves in here but as you can see you know with the with the attachments here you see my fingers so I didn't want to put my gloves in here and have them risk uh, getting punctured or something like that where it was in a car or whatever and then them kind of be rendered rendered worthless or useless when I go to use them but anyway that's there they also added some um, loops to the bottom here to kind of make it an easier closing and then a loop here so when this is attached to a pack or something they're real easy to open you just grab the grab handle like here and just rip it and pull it right down very easy to open. Alright, let's kind of go over what I got inside. Now, inside, the only real changes that they made is on each side here. There is elastic loops now. Or as I see this marker right here. These loops would be perfect for putting like an EpiPen. Uh, if somebody has allergic reactions, uh, stuff like that, and they need an EpiPen, this is a perfect loop for an EpiPen. Or as you can tell right here, I just put this Sharpie in here, or this Expo marker in here. Perfect for that. Or chem light. See, I thought about putting a chem light in here, but I'm not sure because I don't want, because like I said, when, once this is closed up, I don't want the chem light getting uh, accidentally um, cracked uh, while it's in here and then when I go to use it, it's already been used, not knowing. So anyway, on the front here, the flap that comes down, they have their, their shock cord kind of S system, which is kind of neat. All I have on here is just a little clean conforming bandage and, the, and a pair of gloves. You know, quick pair of gloves, put the gloves on. And then it fell out, I just have a triangular bandage and a 3 inch ace bandage. And then right here, going on to the, the first elastic loops here, I have an H&H &H compressed gauze. 
Israeli trauma dressing, six inch, and then a SWAT T tourniquet. All right there on the front. Easy grab stuff, trauma, you know, easy trauma stuff to grab right there. Going back into the first little pocket behind here, just have some boo boo items. A uh, bunch of band aids, various size band aids with some steri strips. Have a little old gift card with some tape wrapped around it. Have another little package here of just like Neosporin, um, hydrocortisone cream, iodine, you know, stuff like that. Because again, big trauma kits are not always, you know, your gunshot wounds and stuff like that. You get general just boo boos and stuff where you need like a band aid, something like that, small. And then have a thing, a quick clot. This is the uh, quick clot multi pad, the 8x8 pad. You can actually tear this in half. So you have two 4x4 pads. So I have one of those back there. And then in the back, in this pack, the back compartment here, a back pouch here, it's just loaded up with several 5x9 uh, gauze dressings, and then I think five 4x4 four four sterile 4x4 four four dressings, and then a couple of uh, sterile eye pads as well. On the little flap here, in this little pocket here, I just have an irrigation syringe kind of shoved down in there. It's kind of hard to get out of the tourniquet on the outside but irrigation syringe and then over here I just have a little bag with some with spare gloves I have four more pairs of gloves over here okay so that's pretty much it that's pretty much I mean they haven't they've changed a few things but you know that's my kit so far what I like about it I really like the grab handle uh, this grab handle is really nice I really like that I really like the how they've put this little uh, indicator on here too and that makes it really nice. Now, once these are on a pack, they're really easy to get all, to open up, as you've seen before. What I don't like, and I think they should change, VanQuest, put one of these grab handles back here instead of this little loop. Put a grab handle back here because in a situation, an emergency situation, when your adrenaline is pumping and stuff like that, your fine motor skills are going to be diminished. So relying on your gross motor skills is what you're going to have to do. So if this is not attached to a pack, if this is in a car or something like that and you just grab it and you need to open it, again, your adrenaline is pumping, you may be really nervous or somebody else may be trying to open this for you, it's kind of going to be difficult, even though it will open uh, fairly easy still, they're going to have to hold this and grab here. Whereas if they had another grab handle, you can just rip it apart and just rip it open. Again, I just like what, I'd, I'd like to see that change, you know, but other than that, that's pretty much the, the new features that they've added. Now, the 7x10 ha, ha, has the same features added in as well, except for the elastic. Now, 7x10 doesn't have the elastic on the sides, which I think they should add the elastic on the sides here as well. But still has the grab handle, the new grab handle, um, new pull tabs here on the bottom, the mall layer on the front, stuff like that. And of course, the only big, big difference between the 7 by 10 and the 5 by 6, other than I mean the 5 by 8, other than size, is you have this detachable, little removable pouch here that goes you know either way or whatever. So again, we're going to go. I'm going to do a separate video on this, the 7 by 10 kit, do a separate uh, trauma kit on that, and I'll show you that in a later video. But I just want to go over some of these changes here with the Gen 2 VanQuest um, pouches. I really like these pouches. They they're not. I mean. You, you can use them for other things too, not necessarily first aid kits. I mean, you can use them as a survival kit and stuff like that, which is what I thought about turning one of these into. So, I don't know, maybe later on down the road, I'll, I'm will i going to buy um, maybe another 4x6 or something like that and turn that into a, um, a survival kit or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so this is the, again, the Gen 2, kind of going over the, the Gen 2 mods and different things that they change on the Gen 2. So anyway, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And um, so I'll see you in another video. Always remember your PPE, plan, prepare, and exercise. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.